Hello and welcome to the Listening Post's unboxing channel on YouTube. Today I'm unboxing Project's debut carbon Evo. Uh, we did our first unboxing late last year of the limited release. This is now one of the amazing colour options. This model has already proven to be hugely popular. The upgrades are adding so much as far as uh, noise floor reduction and quality that it's just taking the world by storm. Um, Project has been bold enough to introduce a very wide range of different colours, including matte blue, green, uh, yellow, as well as matte black and white, to complement some of their classic uh, colours like walnut, and of course gloss black, gloss white, and gloss red. So the range will have nearly 10 different colour options, and this in yellow is kind of a cool one to have a look at, hence why I'm revisiting it today. So, Project. All of their packaging is pretty muted. Most of their primary, uh, essential, debut, all come in this sort of basic box. Some of their larger ones come in much more elaborate packaging, but this is kind of a standard size and shape. On both ends, we've got uh, information about its model, uh, debut carbon Evo, the cartridge type that it comes fitted with, which is the 2M Red, and its colour option. There's a scan serial number and a manual serial number as well. Opening these is really easy. They're, um, they're secured with uh, paper tape. And those familiar with any of the unboxings that I do will see a um, uh, project has always been covered or sealed with this sort of paper packing tape. Now, no pun intended, but as an evolution on the model, Project has included now a, uh, a colour setup guide as far as how to put it all together and make it all go, as well as all the accessories, which includes a belt and interconnect and anti skate weight. In our previous unboxing video, I've drilled down and opened these, so if you want to see all the accessories, follow the link to the uh, older unboxing version. The top itself is protected with layers and layers of cardboard, um, so the lid is separated and, and, and held sort of for transit inside this um, cardboard packaging. Getting rid of the packaging is really, really straightforward, revealing a polished bag to protect the Perspex lid in transit. It arrives in absolutely mint condition, with not even a fingerprint on it. There's a little cardboard uh, triangle which sits over the uh, central spindle to help keep everything in uh, in the right place, and two pieces of this sort of poly paper to ensure that if there's any rubbing, it's not going to affect the, the uh, surface of the turntable itself. So let's get that out for a moment, and then drill down into the next layer. You'll see Project has um, added a couple of pieces of polystyrene in the bottom, so that the accessories and other things are held uh, perfectly in transit. One of the accessories to look out for, and it's really, really important, is that separated and inside one of these small bags is the, is the turntable's um, counterweight. Uh, now, given it's heavy, uh, the counterweight is separated off the arm to ensure that it's not going to damage anything in transit. There's also, obviously, the platter. Now, the platter is hugely upgraded as far as the previous model. To introduce inertia and mass, Project use a steel platter. But steel can ring, still has a little bit of metallic ring to it, should it be tapped or vibrated. To eliminate that, and as part of the debut Evo upgrades, they've added this rubber uh, dampen, dampening ring. It means literally, it's almost inert. And that relatively cost-effective upgrade improves the sonic capabilities of this term table a, a big chunk. Yet, it's very affordable, and with the uh, price of this moving only slightly, those three upgrades, the speed box, the platter and the feet, which we'll see later, um, add a huge amount of additional value for, for no real cost. Now buried in the bottom, and I'll just sort of give you a look, is the unit's power pack. Um, again, look, it's just a standard New Zealand power pack, 15 volts. Want to drill into that? Check out my other video. Last piece of polystyrene, and off goes the box flatter off to one side and concentrate on the deck. Now you can already see through the polish bag that this is a pretty cool colour. 
carefully removing that, we're looking at the care and attention the project have done with some of the subtle colours. So this is their yellow. Um, it's a matte finish, um, looks to be beautiful as far as its fit and finish, and uh, very well, um, very well uh, painted. It's lovely, it's really, really lovely to see, even, even sprayed in where the uh, motor is routed out. Um, previous versions, because this has, of course, now a speed box, and I'll show you that in a moment. Previous versions had a couple of different pulley wheel uh, sizes. This one has one major one and a second for 78s, should you want them, and an internal um, uh, pulley wheel. Semi-assembling it for a moment, uh, just putting that platter on so we can start to see what it looks like, and then the counterweight. And again, please hang around for the photographs that we'll take at the end of this. I'm going to take some photographs of not only this and yellow up nice and close, but also one of the more contemporary finishes, probably a gloss black or something like that as well. So the deck itself, as you can see, is very rudimentary, but that is the best part of it. Like simple food cooked well that ends up spectacular as far as on the palate. When you engineer things properly and implement it perfectly, you end up with a beautiful turntable like this from a performance perspective. So let's drill down and have a quick look. Again, uh, as I mentioned, it has a speed box. Now, tilting it backwards, you'll see a three-pole switch. It's neutral in the middle, with each speed selected by clicking either to the left or to the right. Uh, that means you can very easily change between 33 and 45 at the click of a switch. You'll also see part of the Evolution's upgrades, which are the new feet. These were first seen on Projects X1 and X2 turntable. It's a foot um, uh, laminated with between a piece of sorbethane, giving almost perfect isolation. The feet can also be adjusted, so the turntable can now be leveled, which is a wonderful little feature on its own. As previously, the turntable has uh, Projects carbon fibre arm, and their amazing 2M red cartridge. The combination of these alone sets this turntable apart and given that it's factory fitted and ready to go it gives you an amazing feature set straight out of the box. Let's be honest we're all relatively lazy and being able to take our hi-fi home and almost immediately play it is an important factor and this gives you such a good implementation of that straight away and out of the box. The arm itself is relatively long with the traditional uh, razor and lower it's got um, a location for the anti-skate weight. Again, hang around for some photographs. I'll, I'll show you that. And the counterweight. Uh, if you want to know more about setting one of these up, there's a new little tutorial years ago on um, how to best set up one of these debut turntables. Looking at the back, it's relatively simple. You've got its outputs, and it comes with this fully screen twisted pair interconnect, perfectly adequate for the deck. It's worth mentioning, if you're connecting it, please attach the ground first because you can get good leverage on this little nut for the ground before plugging in the left and right outputs. just makes it much easier as far as getting that little spade in from the ground. There's a third rear foot, as I mentioned, and then all the way back here is the input for the 15 volt power supply. I'll just pause and put the lid on so that we can see what it looks like sort of finished. There we have it. Project's brand new debut Evo turntable. It's got an upgraded platter, it's got an upgraded speed box, it's got upgraded feet for a nominal change in price. So wonderful, wonderful value. Hence why I'm happy to share this again and this beautiful colour option. So there we have it. Project's debut Evo turntable. Sitting here beautiful in its new matte yellow. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel. <laughs>